The inner tide is home to a vast array of species, including seabirds, anemones, sea stars, snails, and other tiny sea creatures living in the holdfasts at the ends of the giant kelp that wash up on shore. Sand crabs are the surfers of the inner tide. They burrow under the sand and wait patiently for the perfect wave. While riding a wave, these suspension feeders use their bushy antennae to catch and eat particles of dead organic matter. Anemones belong to the phylum Cnidaria, which is the same phylum that jellies belong to. They have a centrally located mouth surrounded by tentacles. Each tentacle is covered with nematocysts, which have stinging structures called nidocytes. The nidocytes are used as hook-like grabbers to pull prey through the mouth and into the gut. Watch as these tiny sand crabs fall prey to this anemone's tentacles. But don't worry, to humans, these tentacles only feel like sticky tape. Sea snails are in the phylum Mollusca. They have a tongue-like structure called a radula, which is used to rasp away algae for consumption. Look closely at the snail's radula in action. Plastic, it's a plastic bag. It is so important that we reduce our human impact as much as possible. Otherwise, instead of the inner tide being full of these marvelous creatures, it will be full of destructive trash and other toxic pollutants.